Hello, hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor Short with Harmonious Return, and today we're doing a hopefully quicker video on the five different energy types in human design. So I'm gonna dive right in because I've tried to do this before and it was just getting way too long-winded and I really wanna give like a concise overview of the human design types. So human design energy types, there are five of them and you will, when people ask what is your human design, they are asking what is your human design energy type. You will see it when you pull your chart as human design type, just type, energy type, um, that type of thing. It's gonna be at the top of the list because that's the one thing that uh, most people are referencing. Really quick, important caveat. This is not necessarily your personality. This is how your energy works. Literally how you interact, like how your energy is felt by others and how your energy works internally as well. So no surprise, everything in this universe is energy, made up of energy, right? And that is the same for you and I. And so there are different ways that our energy works and that's exactly what this is explaining. Human design, of course, goes into so many amazing nuances and strengths and challenges and opportunities for our personalities as well. But this is, again, human design is so in depth that your human design type is really important, but it's only one piece of the huge puzzle that is you. So I'm gonna go over the five different types um, really quickly. And the, I'm just like giving you a, a quick overview. I think at some point I will do a deeper dive into the types, but this will give us a quick overview. So I'm starting with the manifestors. The manifestors make up about 9% of the population. So definitely a minority of the population. And manifestors, you have really strong energy, um, really powerful energy, um, kind of shape shift your energy. And you're really here to initiate, to bring things into fruition. Um, to be those people who are those creative brilliances who bring um, absolutely like never thought of new innovative ideas and ways of being into this world, okay? Then we've got our generators. We've got our generators who are really here designed to do the things. Generators are about 35%. There is a nuance there. Manifesting generators and generators both make up 70%. And I think there was like a point or two percentage off um, either way, but you catch, you catch what I'm trying to say there. But generators, you're really designed to be here to be the light of this world. And when you are here, you are designed to really live life by your joy and what lights you up and find work that really invigorates you, brings you satisfaction. Um, you have really infectious energy when you are aligned, and then it can be really a frustrating energy when you are out of alignment. So more on that for sure. Manifesting generators, just as the term sounds, you are a combination between manifestors and generators. So both of those pieces will also um, in some way, shape, or form at different times in your life will apply to you as well. But you are really here, like as a manifesting generator, to be multifaceted. You are here to like have multiple things that you're interested in and jump from thing to thing to thing and not really stay within one hobby, one passion, one career, one thing. Um, at all and you're really here to break the mold on that and to show like there's a different way of being. Projectors. Projectors make up about 20% of the population and projectors are so amazing. Projectors, you're really here to be able to be wise. You have this projector energy. You can see really into people and processes and situations um, in a completely different way. You can kind of like, I always say like the hawk's eye view. You can see into things and you can really have this beautiful gift to be able to see what people need. And so you're here really to be able to guide and lead 
others and be this and that doesn't have to necessarily be in like a traditional sense it could just be in the way that you are you know but you have this amazing way of being and um, this really wise wisdom guided energy um, but you have to be invited into that. So there's so much more to say for all of these. We're, we're just giving a quick overview. And then lastly, we have our reflectors and our reflectors are 1% of the population. So obviously the rarest of all types and reflectors are here to really, you're really to show the health of the community and you are an absolute mirror because in your human design you are completely open in all nine of your energy centers um, which makes this beautiful allowance for you to be a mirror for whoever else is in front of you and for you specifically as a reflector you'll be able to tune into whether or not you're in alignment into truly like day by day how are you feeling because you will be a complete reflection of the environment that you are in and so when you're in alignment as a reflector which we'll talk about more later is you are living life kind of by surprise and delight how beautiful right so obviously so much more to say about each one of these types but I wanted to just give a quick overview um, there are pieces that go in with all of these and nuances as you as you may guess um, but this gives you an idea it starts to get you thinking about your specific human design type and allows you to dive in if you want to get a reading which is what I would suggest for people who are just starting out because human design is not really something like because of the complexity, um, it's just easier. We'll just say it that way. It's just easier to start off your journey by getting a reading and then you can kind of rabbit hole from there. So that's something that I offer. I'll link it in the, the links here if that's something that you're looking for. Um, and yeah, comment below what is your type once you find that and have so much fun just diving into this world of figuring out you at your true core essence because you are freaking amazing absolutely and your human design will show you if you've forgotten okay anyway have a great day talk to you later bye